To start developing Vue applications, we'll need to install at least two things on our system. The first is Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows us to use JavaScript outside of the browser. We won't need to learn Node or how to write server-side code, but we need to install it to have access to NPM. NPM is Node.js's package manager and is part of how we create new Vue projects. We also use it to install additional tools and libraries that we want to use in our application. To download it, point your browser to nodejs.org and click on the latest LTS version on the left. LTS stands for Long-Term Support and is the most stable version available. Once the download has finished, you can run the installer and follow the prompts in the setup wizard. If you're on a Windows machine, you may get the option to install the Chocolatey Package Manager. It's not required for Vue, but if it's something you want, you can check the checkbox to include it in the installation. Once the installation is complete, we can verify that Node and NPM were installed by checking their versions in the terminal. To open the Windows terminal, tap the Windows button on your keyboard, type CMD, and hit Enter. If you're on a Mac, click the Launchpad icon in the dock, type the word Terminal in the search field, then click on Terminal. If you're on Linux, press Ctrl Alt and T on your keyboard. Once you've got it open, type node, then a space, then dash V, and press enter. If the terminal shows a version number, node was successfully installed. The second thing we'll need is an integrated development environment, or at least a text editor. For this series, we're going to use Visual Studio Code. It's free, available for all platforms, and includes many features that make development easier and faster. To install VS Code, point your browser to code.visualstudio.com and click on the download button. The installation is pretty straightforward, but if you get stuck, go to the documentation by clicking on Docs in the top menu bar. Then expand the setup option and choose your platform. There are some view extensions available for VS Code that will make life a lot easier for us as developers. If your window doesn't show this bar on the left, go up to the View menu, select Appearance, and make sure Activity Bar is checked. Then, open the Extension Explorer by clicking its button in the Activity Bar. From there, type Vitor in the search box and click the Install button. Vitor is a toolset for Vue that includes syntax highlighting, linting, and formatting. It also includes autocomplete, which makes coding faster and easier and removes a lot of unnecessary debugging. It should be noted though, Vitor has an unresolved linting bug that may require you to turn off linting for the template. To do that, click on the Manage button, then choose Settings. In the search bar, type Validation, colon, Template and uncheck the option. We can create a project with the Vue CLI or with Veet. Veet deserves its own dedicated lesson, so we'll cover it later in the series. For now, we'll use the CLI to create our projects. To install it, open a new terminal by clicking on Terminal in the top menu. Then, choose New Terminal or use the shortcut on the right. In the terminal, type npm install at view slash CLI and add the global flag with dash G. If you're on Mac or Linux, you may need to add sudo in front of your command. Because we use the dash G flag on the command, the view CLI will be installed globally. That means it will be available for any project we create on our system. To keep things organized, we've created a folder on our main drive to store all the example projects for this series. Open your terminal and navigate into your directory with the cd command. Type cd, then the drive, and then the path to the project folder. From here, we can run the command that will create our project. To create a new project, we say, view, create. Then, we give our project a name. The standard naming convention is kebab casing, which uses dashes to separate multiple words in the name. Once you run the command, the CLI will ask you to choose some installation preferences. 
you can navigate with the arrow keys and select an option with Enter. The first preference is the preset. We can choose View 2, View 3, or manually select the features we want. To keep things simple for the moment, choose Default View 3. View will then create the project and install any dependencies it needs to work. Once the installation has finished, we can navigate into the new project with the CD command. All that's left to do now is to open the project in VS Code. To do that, write the word code, then a space, then a period, and hit Enter. In the next video, we'll create our first view application. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.